Hello, I'm Russ Randall, the founder of Austrian Engenomics, a blend of Austrian economic theory and engineering. I have a unique cocktail party economic question that could change the world if it becomes viral. The question gets to the heart of uncovering what is the real tax and when do we actually experience the real tax? I see this as a possible hook that might galvanize all economic discussion into a common sense basis of logic. If someone says they want to cut taxes by reducing tax revenue or marginal tax rates, then one could not be more misleading. Actually, legislators who cut tax revenues under the guise of cutting taxes are committing fraud. So, gather friends at your next party and pose the following question to them. If all levels of government cut taxes to zero and collected no taxes or fees whatsoever, but continued paying for all government functions and programs that exist today, then would we be taxed? Again, if all levels of government cut taxes, all taxes to zero and collected no taxes or fees whatsoever, but continued paying for all government functions and programs that exist today, then would we be taxed? Webster's Dictionary and the politicians would say, no, you've cut taxes to zero. All others would recognize the truth and acknowledge, of course, we would be taxed somehow. Clearly, then, the real tax is not simply revenue collected. Here's the government spending level, here's the revenue level, and here is zero. The gap between the spending and the revenue is funded by the issuance and sales of new treasuries. We can all recognize cutting tax revenues down to zero would not eliminate the real tax. By the way, in my cocktail party question, would we be taxed, we means the citizenry of a sovereign country. So, if revenue collected is not the real tax, then what is? The real tax is the actual level of direct or indirect labor and natural resource utilization authorized by government, whether those resources are government employees, contractors of government work, suppliers of food, medicine, capital goods, or etc. to fulfill a government purpose. Given that the real tax is labor, it occurs in real time every minute of every day and can never be recovered. Spent labor can never be recovered. This is in sharp contrast to a tax paying individual or business parting with some, uh, some of his hard earned money and transferring it to a government entity, which is the traditional context of the term tax. To elaborate, the only way for government to consume or transfer wealth is to somehow coerce it in the first place. Its source could be current taxpayers or treasury investors in the case of the federal government. Regardless, those receiving it will consume it and it will never be recovered. Hence, the ultimate goods and services that are transferred or consumed is the final manifestation of the labor and natural resources allocated to a government purpose. The real tax is a very high correlation to government spending. An interesting question then is, would we be taxed if the tax revenue was utilized to repay treasury debt? The answer is no. The intertemporal promise by government to satisfy a bond redemption demand from a treasury investor who sacrificed to purchase it initially may never happen. This tax collected later to redeem the bond investor is not the real tax. Government could default 
or repay in a currency diluted in value, which is technically a partial default. The citizenry was really taxed when the bonds were issued and sold, then proceeds were utilized to extract and consume or transfer goods and services produced by labor to satisfy a government purpose. I refer to this tax to repay treasury holders as the GZIRT tax, that's G-S-I-R-T tax. It's the Government Security Investor Redemption Tax. This GZIRT tax is an effort to spread the tax burden to taxpayers of the future. Remember, the real tax was spent when the labor was allocated for a government purpose funded by taxpayers and treasury purchasers at the time. Then, the tax burden may be shifted. However, it is very likely that the future taxpayers who might face a government attempt to collect more in tax revenue than they spend, uh, I repeat, more in tax revenue than they spend? I think not. Uh, that would fully rebuke the idea and fire the politicians. So future taxpayers would fire the politicians. Consequently, the Fed would revert, revert to debasing the currency. That's inflation, which harms those holding the debt securities and dollars today. It's not the children or the grandchildren. It's dollar and debt holders today that will get hosed very soon. We are experiencing the most extraordinary debt bubble in the history of the Republic, of which government debt is only a portion. Remember, the real tax is not simply the tax revenue collected. It's very close to government spending. If a politician says government should never raise taxes in a recession, then we should interpret that as they should never raise spending in a recession. Tax revenue collected has very little to do with the real tax. Again, the real tax is the spending. Sadly, government debt is an illusion of wealth which is now growing parabolically. When this illusion is discovered by the masses, it will be a very bad hair day. Now, forward this to co this cocktail party question video